Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write experiment for your section C. Let's go! All right, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm just going to give you one example uh, to show you how to write the format and uh, what are the steps to follow, okay? This, this format and this step is universal all experiment the same same method but question could be different okay so i'm just gonna take this question for uh for instance uh, this is about bones all right birds bones has special adaptations such as being light strong at the same time uh while compared to mammals bone yeah this is about form 4 chapter 6 support system you have your exoskeleton endoskeleton uh hydrostatic skeleton so obviously bones for birds and mammals under endoskeleton okay so birds versus mammal what are we trying to compare here is hollow versus compact okay uh kong sing the gu dui bi wo men de shi sing de gu jiu shi eh niao a de gu tou zhong jian shi kong de kong sing de yin wei qing a rong yi fei ma ah mammal bi ru da ben xiang a jiu hui shi ah shi sing de gen wo men yi yang so mammal has has more compact bone compared to to birds because birds need lighter bones for flight. Okay, so this topic is to compare hollow versus compact bone. Okay, this experiment is exactly from your textbook, by the way. Yeah, no matter what question give you the story is doesn't matter. An exam question can give you different story, right? Or sometimes, uh, even stories that doesn't relate, like difficult to relate. What the experiment is in your textbook so try our best to relate which chapter and which part we're talking about and get back to the original experiment original experiment original experiment from the textbook okay so the original experiment looks like that by the way everybody you can take a look at the picture uh, I'm just going to show you for, for now to show, to let you understand what are we talking about. We are going to use hollow cylinders made of A4 papers. Uh, hollow and compact. Compact means probably you have to roll a lot together. Okay, so uh, hollow means empty on the inside and then we put a box cover and then we will place, I think, textbook. Yeah, textbook on top and we will count how many textbook it takes to collapse the model A or model B to prove which one is stronger. Okay, that's the the background you need to have lah for different experiments. Okay, so A asking for hypothesis, so I've already written down for you. So please grab your full scale paper if you can. Uh, if you don't have it with you now, go grab it and come back and uh, play the video again. Right. So hypothesis, uh, it's a wild guess. 假设就是猜猜看啊，我们的这个 experiment 的那要 test 的东西是什么？所以这。Hypothesis, a wild guess about what you're trying to test out. So you know what? My step is this. I'm gonna skip hypothesis A. Okay, I'm gonna skip that because the uh, hypothesis is actually a combination of manipulated and responding variable. So I'm gonna do it later after I've gotten my variables uh, uh, answers. Okay. So uh, aim the next one. I'm gonna skip it as well. By the way, so uh, we will go to B two manipulated. Responding and constant. Well, the reason I skip these two again, just to tell you one more time, we need the answer from responding and manipulated to form a proper sentence or more accurate answer. So at the moment where I do not have anything yet, I better not risk my answer for A and B one. I'm just going to do it later, okay? So like, let's go to your manipulated. 超中心变数 So your manipulated variable here will be, you know, testing out compact bone and hollow bone. So we are testing out type of cylinder. Uh, well, basically means uh, hollow cylinder or compact cylinder. Okay. So I'm just gonna write this hollow, hollow or compact. You don't have to write this. I'm I'm just showing you what are we talking about. We're talking about hollow or compact cylinder to represent the bone of the birds. Then you might be thinking, huh? Not draw the bird and the elephant man. The question same. Uh... No. Okay. Like I said, no matter 
what story is given we have to get back to our original experiment which is what i've shown you just now in the picture so no not gonna follow this okay so original experiment is that we use air 4 paper to roll up to make the links of the model a and b okay so responding variable finding sing and su which is your result remember i was saying we will place textbook on top how many textbook can support that will be your result okay so that will be number of uh, textbook that can be supported by the cylinder there you go and this actually means strength of the cylinder or strength of the bone that represents okay yeah uh, the bracket one no need that is just me telling you what is the real meaning behind yeah okay like next one constant variable things must be fixed and things must be fair okay so if you take a look at the picture i think what really important here to make sure things are fair between model a and b will be the diameter of the leg or i mean the cylinder and also the the length of how tall it is so both will be fair lor okay so my constant variable will be diameter and uh, length of the cylinder okay that's uh, both together yes both both are very important not just choose one uh, both uh, okay so both will be your constant variable so once i've gotten my manipulated variable responding variable constant variable done it's time to get back to my hypothesis and aim so I'm just going to quickly highlight to you my um, responding and manipulated because that's the, how do I, how should I say, that's the, that's the soul of your experiment. Nice. Everything purely rely on these two already. So if you got these two answer correct, most probably you are safe for the rest of the question. Okay. Now let's get back to a hypothesis. Yeah. So hypothesis usually la, got two ways la, I show you. Uh, usually the format is like that. La. Okay. So either we can write like the the sentence. So usually the the what? Usually the the MV manipulated and then the the RV responding. I'm pretty sure you know this type of method. It's a very simple and straightforward method that you learn in primary school as well. 越越的句子好吗？就是越什么什么操纵性变数就越反应性变数。通常是最普遍最直接的一种方法来写这个不行啦你们都听过都知道 okay, Second method is called compare Compare which is to compare when you have only two things Like you and me, compare okay, Yes and no, compare okay? uh, The the usually for when there's a lot of things Increasing, 越来越多,越越 you know? The the increasing, getting more and more But for compare, it's clearly when there's only you and me, this and that, uh, A and B So we compare So in this case, right, the the is not really suitable Because we are here to compare hollow versus compact bone Okay, so my hypothesis, I would uh, write in such a way Let me show you We will take a wild guess Like I'm guessing the hollow bone is stronger than the compact bone by, by the way a hollow bone is actually stronger than compact bone if not the same as compact bone okay uh, being hollow it's it's important for birds to to fly because it's light but at the same time right bones le bones must be strong ma so how can god create a type of bone that is light but it's not strong so it must have both properties so in fact hollow bones compared to uh, compact bones pound to pound they are stronger hollow bone is stronger it must be fair pound to pound 一定要公平的去你不可能说小鸟的那个体质就是比起这个大笨象的体质这样子是不公平我们说要一样的话啦将将会是强过的 ok so hollow bones are stronger than compact bone that's my wild guess based on the experiment ok so See, what I'm trying to do here is I talk about hollow, I talk about compact, I also talk about, you know, stronger and, and so on. So I'm actually using my manipulated and responding variable. You see that? You see that? So that makes me more confident. 
我更自信的写，我答应，我知道我答应一定是从这两边来，不要写有的没的东西，好吗？就跟着他来做就好了。OK， yeah， that's the guidance， that's the more accurate way to to get or more a better way to get more accurate answers. Okay, next one. Aim usually aim or we write starting ah、uh, to study, ah、uh, to investigate, ah、uh, to compare. You know so many ways lah.、Huh? But I think well this is more suitable to write maybe to compare. I guess to compare. I would choose to compare because I'm truly here to compare all of them and compare them. So compare what? Compare the how strong it is. Ah, how strong it is, right? So to compare the strength of compact bone versus hollow bone, lah. So you see, I'm still using my manipulated and、uh, responding. I'm just kind like to show you. Okay, all good. Yeah, strength of compact bone and hollow bone. So this sentence must not be a result. There's no result here. I didn't say which one stronger. I didn't say which one better. I didn't say which one, uh, you know, uh, uh lighter or whatsoever. I'm I'm comparing. I'm trying to find the result, but I have no results here. So your sentence shouldn't be any result sentences like stronger lah, better lah, higher. 不要有不要写有形容到它强过或者差过什么没有。这个只是一个，哎，我想要达到的一个目的。我要去 try， 我要去看一下谁哪一种骨头比较强，可以吗？就这样子。好 ，so so far, uh, we have four marks ah for hypothesis one. Aim is one, and、uh, variables all three together also becomes two. So four marks out of ten, not bad, ah.、Huh? So make sure your your first four marks in your hand, okay? Very simple, ah,、uh, answers to write actually. Okay, all right. Next one, we go for apparatus and material. So apparatus, since we have some free answer here, I'm just gonna straight copy it down. Okay, what else do we have? Um, I think we have、uh, this one very art and craft.、Uh. Okay, I'll just copy it down here. Okay, this is very art and craft.、Uh. So I think we also need some art and craft stuff like cellophane tape. Okay, ah,、uh, we have box cover. Obviously, in the picture I show you just now, box cover scissors. Okay, usually la, we will have a. Measuring instrument, you know, like thermometer. Um, what else? A, a, a stopwatch to measure things. But in this experiment, I don't think we have any measuring instrument, lah. I mean, you can just count with your eyes how many books can support, right? So I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, that gives you one mark, right? So number four, everybody, procedure. Then number four, procedure or method. Okay, so must draw. So my picture is here. I'm just gonna bring it down. Must draw. Ah,、uh, must draw. Draw what? Go to your original experiment in your textbook. Okay, so draw it out. We need to write the steps, right? So that's a way or that's a shortcut for you to write steps or a guidance for you, which I used for. Every、um, experiment, right? So the key word here is or the acronyms, ah,、uh, short form is called AMORT, A M O R T, AMORT. Okay, I'll tell you each of them represents what. Yeah. Um. Well, to save time, I will just straight away, uh, to explain to you how. Give me a moment. Okay, there you go. Right. Well, hold up, hold up! Don't copy first. Let me explain to you what what is happening here and how to write. Okay, here consists of four marks ah in total, in total four marks. Okay, so what does A means? A means the apparatus. This one apparatus. Okay, ah、uh, is shown a、uh, setup is shown in the diagram above. Yeah, so this is always the standard sentence to write lah. You memorize ah ah. You always use for the same for all experiment. So. Next M M stands for manipulated. So manipulated means I try my best to talk about manipulated, which is you know your manipulated is the hollow or compact, right? I will try my best to talk about like you know I make the paper roll the paper into hollow or I roll a lot to form a compact um cylinder. So you want to talk about that? There's no like a perfect way of writing, but 
啊、uh, ，that's the guidance， 就是这一些字眼能够帮助你，就是至少你知道，哎，我要写操纵性面试，我尽量要提起我以上的东西，就是，哎，我的这里 ，top of the l i n d a I wanna talk about it， try your best to talk about it， there's no perfect sentence for it， but try your best to talk about it， okay。That's my two and three. By the way, it has to. It doesn't mean that you have two sentences, three sentences. It can be one sentences. Ah,、uh, it can be one sentence. Ah,、uh, if you if you have a shorter experiment or shorter steps, make a hollow cylinder diameter blah blah blah. That's to my constant variable to be fixed. Yeah. Ah,、uh, make three more. That means four in total, and then stick to the corner of the book cover. There you go. Okay. Right. Then um, now number four will be O O stands for observation. Okay, observation means my result. So here is my result. So I will place textbook one by one on top of model A first, and then I will see how many it takes to for the paper roll to bend or to collapse. That's my responding variable. I should say observation. O for observation. Okay, cool. Right. Then, uh, my okay. This should be my responding observation, ah,、huh? observation. Okay. Then number five is R. R stands for repeat. So I'm gonna repeat the experiment by using the another one, which is the compact one, ah,、uh, which is B, lah. If you don't want to do number five like that, repeat, right? You maybe have more steps. So、oh. you have to talk about A first, which is two and three. Repeat the same answer for B, four and five, maybe like that. Then only number six, we will end with this one. So it's up to you, one lah. Ah, but my guidance is like that lah. Usually we repeat lah. Okay, and T stands for tabulated. Means I make table. I show my result lah. So number one and number six is fixed lah. Number five for this one ah, it's a repeat. So usually we need the repeat. Okay, so this is basically how we form sentences. Try every experiment confirm different one, 一定不一样。不过这个是一个帮助你写，这至少你可以拿到一点分数了。好过不要空着 ，Don't leave it empty. Try your best to follow this and talk about the experiment. The guidance is your manipulator and responding. Remember, ah, mort. Is that alright? Clear? Okay. So we go for the last one, which is number four. That will be your. Uh, this one tabulation of data. Tabulation of data. Okay, right. So we draw a table. We draw a table. So, uh, also I have prepared the table. So I'm just gonna show you straight away. Okay, bam. So hollow and compact cylinder. Sorry, ah,、uh, this one should be type of cylinder.、Okay. Tabulation. This should be type of cylinder. Okay, hollow and compact, and this is your response. So you see, ah,、uh, this this tabulation of data gives you one mark. Ah,、uh. this one mark comes from this one. No need write number. No need write answer, cause the mark comes from manipulated this one, and your responding variable. Ah,、uh, if you write the top part wrong. The whole thing gone ah. No matter you write what number here, what result also no use. We don't have to write because we don't know. We have not carried out at ourselves, so we can't really have an exact number. But I've got to tell you, um, hollow bone has to be uh stronger than compact. That means hollow bone can tahan more textbook compared to compact. Okay, so I'm not too sure the number yet, but um, let's just leave it this way. So this one mark comes from ah、uh, how you how you present the graph. 老师要看你会不会呈现你的 table， 你会不会做一个 tabulation 出来给老师看这样子啊？所、so, 以分数来自这里 ，OK？ So manipulated versus responding. There you go. One mark. Ah,、uh, for this one, one mark for your this one drawing and the steps four marks. Five. Okay. Ah,、uh, sorry, sorry. Four marks. Five already. Six. A pair of six. And then another four marks above ten marks in total. So this is sort of the format that you can、uh, try to follow lah. Then that will help you in all kinds, all kinds of experiment. All right, cool. Okay, so I guess、uh, that's pretty much what we want to do today. I hope this video helped you to、uh, understand how to write a format for experiment. If you like the video, share to your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Consider to subscribe. 
I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.